What's up guys, it's Nate Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again. This is part 4 of 4 in my Air Jordan 13 retro um, pickups videos. So we've got the black uh, 2014 sort of style Jordan box with a white Jumpman. I'll let you guys see all the box numbers and things like that. So what we have right here is the Air Jordan 13 retro. Uh, official colourway is black, gem red black. The style code is 414571 and the colour code is 003. Again, as always, they are in a size US 13, UK 12. My order form from Nike.com. And you've got that regular sort of John Brand graffiti style paper. And I'll give you guys a quick look at the sneaker right there. So these are the Air Jordan 13 Retro. Uh, they're better known as the Dirty Dreads um, for reasons which I will just tell you shortly. So there we go guys, this is the sneaker right here, I'll give you a quick spin and then we'll get to talking a little bit about it. Okay, so Air Jordan 13 Retro, um, these did release uh, in December of 2014. Um, according to rumour, this actual colourway was inspired by a custom that was seen by Jordan brand. Um, so this is basically a sort of a re-release um, with some differences of the original bread. Um, colourway where it doesn't feature the reflective panelling on the upper um, and it is very very close to that custom that had kind of been uh, bounced around all the sneaker blog pages. Um, John 13 was released for the 1997-98 season. It was the show that Michael wore in his final season as a Chicago Bull uh, right the way through the season until he got to the NBA Finals where he switched to the Air Jordan 14 where he famously hit the last shot in the black and red version better known as the last shot Air Jordan 14. Uh, this shoe was designed by Tinker Hatfield. Uh, unbeknownst to Tinker, um, Michael's close friends uh, call him the Black Cat and that was because of his cat-like instincts um, and the way he would strike while he was on the court. Um, so this is probably the sneaker that I think most sneakerheads will admit the uh, inspiration and um, how the final sneaker looks um, sort of tie in uh, and look the best. So the inspiration was the black cat, as I said. So what you've got on the both the lateral and medial mid panels in the black tumbled leather is this stitching that's designed to resemble the whiskers of a cat. Um, kind of on that theme of cat, you've got that hologram there, which is designed to look like the eye. Also, what you find is on the outsole, um, it's like little pods, and the actual um, look of the outsole is, is like a cat's paw. Um, and you've got that hologram on there again with your red Jumpman. Um, the midsole itself is Phylon and it has a heel and forefoot zoom air in it. Um, and again, as was um, unveiled and first inserted in an Air Jordan model in the Air Jordan 11, you've got the carbon fibre composite shank plate there. It's going to give you torsional rigidity. Um, and again, when this sneaker first launched, it was kind of the lightest sneaker on the market and the most responsive. Um, and again, that sort of helped the marketing side of things by playing on that cat um, sort of a demeanour and attitude that Michael played with. Um, materials on this, I really think, are absolutely fantastic. Um, so you've got that really, really nice soft suede, um, or essentially on the mud guard from the forefoot right towards the heel. You also find that coming up the spine of the shoe right here. And you've got that around the collar on the medial side as well. Um, something that was different about this sneaker, and again, with a look to kind of cross the performance and look style of things, is if you look, you have that asymmetrical collar, where it's lower on the out on the lateral side and higher in the medial. With the focus of a design, looking to give you a better range of movement in the ankle area. Um, talking about a better range of movement and giving you some lockdown, instead of having traditional eyelets, we had uh, lace loops for the laces, and this one. So it was in a concealed manner, so it was hidden underneath the, the um, mid panels, like I said, and also you've got a thinner lace as well. Um, you also have the perforations coming up the tongue there, which is again is looking to try and increase the airflow in this shoe. Um, you've got a little bit of branding at the bottom of the tongue, you've got Jordan, and then the other side you've got the Roman numerals for 13 there. Um, You've got the all black tongue with the nice uh, Jim Red, I believe it is, yep, Jim Red Jumpman. Um, so it was the 1997-98 season that Michael wore their sneaker. Um, for that season, he won his 10th straight NBA scoring title, was voted to the All-NBA Defense and All-NBA um, teams. He 
was uh, in the All Star game, his twelfth All Star game, uh, and he was able to win his sixth championship and picking up his sixth Finals MVP um, on the way to helping the Bulls win their uh, second three P of the Jordan era. He also helped the Bulls to their second best ever um, win loss um, total with seventy wins and twelve losses, which was only better by two seasons previous in the 95-96 season where he was able to get uh, 72 wins and 10 losses. Um, so that sneaker again is very, very synonymous for that. Um, it was a sneaker, that, the last sneaker that Michael wore as a bull for the pre predominant uh, season with him switching to the last shot 14s in the NBA Finals against the Utah Jazz. Um, again, this did retro um, quite a few times now. Um, this is an entirely new colour that was re released for 2014 and um, already in 2015 in Low Drop which was the Hornets colourway upcoming you have the Bread colourway and I believe there may be a Chutney colourway um, and potentially some more on the horizon as well um, so without further ado I'm going to stick these babies on feet and let you guys see how they look There we go guys, the on feet section of the bed on my left foot I do have the sneaker how I'd most likely wear it, being untied on the right foot I have tied it. Now you guys see a lateral view, now you guys see it from the front, another lateral view from the back as well, and then how they look rough them again. Very very nice model, I do really really love the all black predominance of um, well, this colourway with a little bit of red. Uh, on the bottom of the branding uh, of the eye loops on the tongue and then the red on the midsole and outsole. Okay guys, for anybody who checks out my video, they know what time it is now. It's night time for me to grab my phone and jump right into my shout outs. As I said before, if you do want to be added to my shout out list, just give, uh, drop a comment or uh, tweet me or comment on my Instagram pictures and let me know you'd like to be added to my shout outs and, and I'll get it done. So first and foremost I've got Ike Bezel, he's the reason that I do these sneaker videos, he's the guy that told me to go ahead and give it a go, so I did and here I am some 3-4 years later still doing videos for you guys, uh, so again shout outs to him, uh, the Soul Brother over there in Detroit, shout outs to Jumpman Bostic, Hess Kicks up there in Oregon, shout outs to him, uh, Nightwing2303 uh, and Kick Genius, these two guys are, are absolutely fantastic to watch. Um, doing their performance reviews. Kick Genius are great and Nightwing's kind of been the king for many years and Kick Genius are like the new generation so it's great to watch them on their different uh, reviews. Zia X, that's Sugar Girl Katie and Just For Kicks 212, they're sort of collective from Florida. Um, the Real Relay 20, again, shout out to him, he's always been tuning in for a while now. Uh, Street Gear at NYC, the store over there in New York, shout out to them. Uh, nice Kicks, the store in Austin, Texas, Sneakerhead TV. Scoop208, the guy who cops the most shoe I've ever seen in my life on uh, YouTube. Uh, Mr. Fulmer Simpson, shout out to him again, Florida Connection. Uh, Yo Ante and Yo Ante Kicks, he's got two different channels, check them both out. Uh, T Blake, the home up there in Boston. Uh, Always Fresh Apparel, aka Jacob J. Keller, shout out to him. Um, Jacques Slade, shout out to him, the homie up there in Virginia, Bullet RC. Uh, we Are The Trend. Ski TV, kicksonfire.com, kicksinthecity.com, uh, Suicidal One, Swag On Haters Out, Sam Colt 12, TL Rick 72, Guns and Gloves, One Veracity, Optimus P517, Sticky213, uh, Blue Cheese, My Kicks Fly, Eddie Wynn, Jason Mark, The Homie, The Fam, The Brother for Life, Sir Eddie C, and someone who I've enjoyed checking out recently from Atlanta is Rich's Kicks. Um, so that concludes my shout outs guys, if you want to add it to the list as I've said at the beginning, uh, just comment on the video and let me know you'd like to be added or tweet me or comment on an Instagram picture. Um, on that note, my Twitter handle is at NathanCare20, you're going to see it right here, that's also my Instagram name. Um, if you want to use my hashtags, it's going to be hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide, hashtag NDD52 for me, NateDoggyDog52, and shout outs to the homie hashtag on hashtag TBlake. All of them are going to appear on the screen as I'm talking right now. Um, and if you've enjoyed what you've seen in this video, then again, leave a comment, let me know. Um, and leave a like also and subscribe to the channel. Okay guys, I'll give you one final look at their Jordan 13 Retro Dirty Bread. 
Um, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like, drop a comment also if you've got any feedback you'd like to give me, and be sure to subscribe to the channel not to miss any future um, series um, of sneakers that I've picked up, uh, and be sure to check out my back catalogue of videos also. I've been NateDoggyDog52, thanks for watching, peace.